Hey guys, I want to do a quick tour of this Lenovo T440S laptop. I like to tinker around with laptops, uh, occasionally refurbish some laptops, and so a lot of times I'll see questions about how to replace an SSD drive or how to upgrade the SSD drive in one of these laptops. Again, this is a Lenovo ThinkPad T440S. And so normally you would have a SSD drive, or I guess if you if you really wanted to, you could have a, a traditional SATA hard drive, a spinning platter hard drive in this spot right here. So you would connect it right here to this, this SATA port. And so you could put it in a two and a half inch regular hard drive, spinning platter hard drive, or normally this would come with an SSD in this slot. And so what happens is a lot of times when you get a used laptop, especially on eBay, if you're getting it from one of the resellers that basically recycles laptops, oftentimes they've taken out the hard drive, they've taken out the SSD drive, and they've disposed of it. So they've destroyed it because they usually get these laptops from corporations. And a lot of times you won't get the caddy either. So like this laptop is missing the caddy that would hold the hard drive, the SSD in place here. And so that becomes a challenge because you end up having to go and buy the caddy separately. And oftentimes they're, they can be pricey, you know, they can be 10 to 15, maybe even 20 bucks just for the little hard drive caddy. Um, and if you're tinkering with a laptop, especially these older laptops, oftentimes it doesn't make sense to spend that much money on getting the caddy. Plus you've got to get the SSD drive. Uh, it's just an extra expense, especially when you're, having to consider whether there's a bad battery. For example, in this T440S, there's an internal battery here that sits underneath here. And then there's also a battery, an external battery that goes in here. And so luckily this laptop that I got has the internal battery. I haven't tested it yet, but at least it has the internal battery. It did not come with an external battery. So I'm already gonna have to pay to get the external battery. Now, let me get to the trick. So the trick is, don't mess with this here. Um, this will be more costly than you expect between getting the Caddy and the SSD drive. Fortunately, the T440S, the T440S, has an M.2 slot. So it has an extra slot here. It's called an M.2 slot. Let me see if I can get in there so you can see it. So in this slot here, you can put in a 42 millimeter M.2 SSD storage drive. And so oftentimes they're labeled as a 2242, 2242M.2 drive. And so usually the screw's already here, so you don't have to worry about having the caddy or any, or any of the other stuff here. And you can go online and you can usually get one of these drives, a 256 gigabyte drive. You can usually get that for 20 bucks or less. And then you can pop it in here and that'll be your main storage drive for the laptop. So that does a couple of things for you. First of all, it drops the weight. So you don't have to worry about getting an SSD drive in here uh, with all the extra plastic that comes with that and the caddy. So you'll drop a little weight, a little bit of weight on the laptop, which is nice. These laptops are still nice, even though they're from 2014, they're still a th nice, thin Ultrabook laptop. I mean, they, they have a little bit slower of a processor, but they're still contenders when it comes to current day to, to running Windows 10 and they're no slouch. So you can get your primary drive in there. Um, it's going to be the same speed, both of these are using a SATA interface, so it's going to be the same speed. But at least you don't have to worry about the caddy, and you do have an extra spot there to put a drive. A um, couple other things I can show you on this laptop are here is where the RAM is located. So, and this one has a four gigabyte um, has a four gigabyte RAM uh, chip that's in here. So, and there's only one port. So there's only one port here for a RAM's first stick of RAM. The, there is also four gigabytes of RAM that is soldered to the motherboard. So if you're upgrading one of these laptops, keep in mind that you can only really just put in a, a, a 
a stick in here. So you can either put in a four gigabyte or an eight gigabyte, or I think the maximum, I think the maximum may be an eight gigabyte. You might be able to put in a 16 gigabyte in there, but you'll, you'll want to double check that. And so here's the CPU. Here's the piping for the fan. And then over here's the fan down here in the bottom corner is one of the speakers. That's a speaker. Uh, there's a speaker over here. So one over here. And we talked about the battery, your Wi-Fi card, your Wi-Fi cards right here. Um, and these do have 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. They are, this I believe is just a N, so it is not AC, it is just up to, uh, it's an N Wi-Fi card, which is still fine for most networks. Here's your CMOS battery. Um, and that's about it. Those most of the important things on this motherboard. So there you go. Let me co let me know if you've got any questions. If you're tinkering around with a, a Lenovo T440s, um, or actually any of the Lenovo laptops from basically a T420. So I've been tinkering with T420s um, all the way through T T470s and T470s. Uh, I haven't really gone beyond that, but so I, I've got quite a bit of expertise in the in the early T-series laptops. So let me know if you've got any questions. Uh, give me a like and a follow if you like this video, and um, thanks for watching.